This is a review of this very retro futuristic looking Casio AL190W solar powered watch, which does not have a battery. Instead, the very prominent solar panels actually charges a capacitor that powers the watch. I got this watch about 10 years ago and it since has been discontinued. So if you want one, you have to find it on eBay. And uh, it is a very cool watch <laughs> that has a huge solar panel that takes up half the watch face. And this watch really wants you to know that it is solar powered. Casio has now incorporated solar charging to many of its Casio watches, um, including G-Shock under the uh, Tough Solar moniker. Um, and in the more modern watches, the solar panels aren't as prominent. It's usually more hidden or it's incorporated into the dial or hidden behind the layers of the dial. Um, this watch itself is actually a reissue of an earlier Casio solar watch from the late 80s, and it kept the solar panels on top and the display on um, bottom design. Um, the 3274 module, you can see it right here, is what powers this watch, and it's found on a couple of other variations of this watch as well, one with a steel band and another with a kind of gold copper looking face, and if you want one, you have to go to on eBay. The functions are pretty standard. Uh, you got the five alarms, you got the stopwatch, you got the timer, and you got the time adjustment. And uh, but unlike other watches, there is no light function here. Um, I would assume it's probably um, too big of a power requirement and it would drain the battery. Um, and it also you realize it doesn't beep when you rotate through all of the different modes like the other um, Casio watches, also likely to save power. But you can hear a beep if you go to the alarm mode and you hold down the right button. So it does beep. And uh, now the charging of the solar panel. Um, the solar panel is best charged in direct sunlight. It takes about an hour outdoors um, in sunlight to charge it to full. Um, but if you keep the watch mostly indoors, uh, especially during the pandemic, everyone's a lot of people in, indoors or it's overcast like here it is in the pacific northwest and uh, it does take almost 90 hours to charge it with an indoor fluorescent light and now you know going outside in a cloudy sky it's still a few hours um, but anywhere between full sunlight outside one hour to inside fluorescent lighting 90 hours um, and going from full charge to empty it takes about 14 days and to keep it operational daily, you would need five minutes of outdoor light or an astonishing eight hours of indoor fluorescent light to just keep it going on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, compared with uh, F91W, they're not that much, you know, they're about the same size. And and it's a little bit thicker, but not too much. And, uh, and you can see the button is actually slightly, um, slightly bigger in comparison, so, um, not too much different um, in terms of size and weight and and all that good stuff. Um, it is a pretty cool and very unique watch with a design from the 80s, but made in the early 2010s. And uh, honestly, who doesn't want to wear a portable solar panel on their wrist these days?